That's not even, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a recipe for spicy Asian noodles. Okay. Alright. Does it look good? Butter? Why would it have butter in it? That doesn't make sense. Okay. Here's the thing about fitness, guys. People tell you it's supposed to be fun. Like, do what you think is fun. If you like playing frisbee, join an ultimate frisbee team, which if you do that, fuck you, get out of here. That's the most ridiculous thing ever. Don't join an ultimate frisbee team. And people always tell me, like, John, just go hiking. Hiking is like the most fun thing you can do. That is a lie. Do we have any hikers? Is, does anybody here go hiking? Yeah. Oh, wow. Why? Why would you go hiking? A hike is the most pointless thing in the world. You're just walking. And then, like, most hikes, you're not even going anywhere. You just walk until you don't feel like it anymore, and then you turn around and walk back. And then you, everybody gets back in the car, and they're like, what a great fucking hike. That's amazing. And then, like, the hikes that you brag about, and you post pictures on Instagram of the hikes where you, like, hike up to, like, a place that's higher than where you started, and then everybody looks down and is like, look at where we started. <laughs> Pretty good hike. All right, well, let's walk back. That's not fun at all. That's, like, the least fun. To me, fun for me is drinking too much and holding up the line at a Taco Bell drive-thru for like hours. You know when you like drive by the Taco Bell on tour and you guys are like, there's too many cars, what the fuck is going on up there? It's me, just like halfway leaning out my car and just spilling out my guts to the guy over the microphone. It's like, I don't know why my dad never hugged me. It doesn't make any sense. Like, was I not good enough? Like, I'm sorry I'm not good at sports, dad. Oh yeah, fire sauce, definitely throw some fire sauce. <laughs> doing that though because I like I would always wake up in the morning with like a crunch wrap supreme shoved into my CD player. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Either I thought my car was hungry or I thought I was in Back in the Future 2 and I just needed enough fuel to get home. Like we just gotta throw a bunch of garbage in this thing just to get a couple miles. Oh okay. guys this has been fun. This has been a fun Three I think I won you over and I'm gonna completely kill my momentum right now. <laughs> so I can tell you all about uh, this girl I met at a wedding two weekends ago. She was great. She was amazing. She was crying our entire conversation the whole time. Uh, it was her sister's wedding and she came up to me because I, you know, I look like one of those people that like, everybody wants to like just tell their problems to or sell stuff like when i walk through the fair like, people are immediately trying to sell me stuff and i'm the guy who can't say no and i'm like already trying on the shoes with like the weird insoles that are supposed to help you with your balance so i'm like i, I don't want to buy them but okay i will get out of here so this girl's talking to me and she is just crying like oh no everybody thinks my sister this is my crying face too i'm sorry you guys gotta look at it I don't know, everybody thinks my sister's so fucking great because she's married. She's only getting married because she's pregnant, and then, oh, you've got to have a baby. Like, that's such a big deal. I got a kitten. <laughs> Nobody cares about my kitten. Kittens are way harder to raise than babies. Like, they, like, jump all over the place. I was like, this is true. Kittens do jump all over the place. But the thing about babies is, if you get sick of it, you can't put it in a bag and throw it over a bridge. <laughs> right? People ask questions. People are like, you can't just show up one day and be like, where's your baby? Like, I don't know, I, I ran away. My baby ran away.
It's really just like, I have this metaphor where my girlfriend is this beautiful, beautiful, powerful horse running across just a painted desert sky. And so many cowboys have tried to lasso her and break her, like so many cowboys, like a ridiculous amount of cowboys. Like, we're talking 20, 30, 40 cowboys. Some really handsome ones, some black ones with huge dicks, like really good looking cowboys. But they couldn't do it, and finally, it was my turn, and I got my lasso around her, and I gave her, I gave her plenty, plenty of space to run around the corral, gave her plenty of rope, she was flirting with other cowboys, I still held on, I held on, and eventually I just got her closer and closer, and finally I got her close enough, I could give her an apple and some oats, and she was comfortable with me, and I just, I dragged my hand, across her side. I didn't want to spook her, very slowly, very slowly, and I got behind her. I got up on a little apple box, just right behind her, and I just lifted up that horse tail. I just lifted up that horse tail, and I just ate that horse pussy off her apples, guys. So let that, take that from this show, if nothing else. Ladies and gentlemen,